Okay, on page 46 here, we're looking at some examples and we're trying to determine whether two quantities are proportional by looking at their graphs and their tables together. So the first example is about the slowest mammal on earth. It's the tree sloth. They're actually pretty cute. When you guys get on your Chromebooks, you might Google tree sloth images. They're pretty cute. But they move really slowly at a speed of six feet per minute. That's our rate right there. It's telling us we're comparing speed per feet per minute. And we're going to determine whether the this, this number of feet a sloth moves is proportional to the number of minute it moves by graphing on the coordinate plane. So they've said if it moves, if there's zero time, it's going to travel zero distance. Well, think about the example we just watched of the clown. If he works zero hours as the clown, how many dollars does he make? Zero. zero. So this zero, zero in a graph is really important because that's going to start showing us that we're going to start right here at the zero, zero, which is called, and I'd like you to write this in here, the origin. origin. The origin has an XY pair, and that XY pair is zero, comma, zero. Ready? All right, now pick up your calculator. We, can, we don't have to do this one. This is 6 divided by 1. And what I want you to put here is that this is x and this is y. The first number in the table tells us the direction we're going to go across. And I want you guys to hold your hands up like this. What does an x do at the middle? Cross. It crosses. And the x-axis on a graph goes, do this with your arms without hitting your neighbor. It goes across, right? So that's how I remember that this is the X, and then the Y, do this with your fingers in the air, make a Y. Notice how Ys hang down. Ys are the ones that go up and down. So that's how you can help remember X and Y. But to find out if these are proportional, we don't divide X over Y, we always divide Y over X. So you have to do the reverse. So do 12 divided by 2, which is 6 over 1. Do 18 divided by 3. Do we get 6 over 1 again? 24 divided by 4. So this is telling us that we have 24 over 4 or 18 over 6. We're always ending up back at 6 over 1. And if we get back to that same unit rate, it's proportional. That's how we told with a table. Now we're going to tell it with a graph, and it's even easier. If you can take the time to graph it, and you're a visual person like me, there's two things you have to look for. One, does it go through the origin? Two, is it a straight line? And this one does go through the origin, and it is a... So, right here, underline this sentence, the number of feet traveled by the sloth is proportional to the number of minutes. Let's try that with this got it down here. James earns $5 an hour babysitting. Determine whether the amount of money James earns babysitting is proportional to the number of hours he babysits by graphing on the coordinate plane. Well, we don't have to make a table. If he babysits zero hours, how much money does he make? Zero. If he babysits one hour, how much money does he make? So we have to go up here. Notice there's no five, so where are we going to go? Halfway between four and six. If he babysits two hours, he's going to make... So go up to 10. If he babysits three hours, he's going to make. And honestly, we can stop there because we have enough dots on our line. Did we start at zero, zero? Okay. I'm going to use this straight edge to make sure my line is straight. And what we have a straight line. Could he babysit more hours? Yeah. So go ahead and put an arrow because your line could go on and on and on. Are we going to go down into the negatives? He's not going to owe money. 
he's either going to make money or he's going to make zero money, right? That's why our graph is only showing what we call quadrant one. So explain your reasoning in the work zone. Well, what's our reasoning? It starts at the origin and the line is what? Straight. So are we saying yes or no to this being proportional? Yes. Okay. Let's make that a statement. It is proportional. Thank you. Would James take tips on his babysitting? If somebody offered him a tip, would he take it? Yeah. It's kind of like the clown problem that we saw at the beginning, isn't it? That's what he charges, his $10 per hour for being a clown. But if somebody offers him a $10 tip or something, he's going to take it. Then our line would get a little bit crooked. But we don't have that information here. We just know how much he makes per hour. And how much he makes per hour is proportional. Okay? Give me thumbs up sideways. How are you feeling about this? Do you guys see how the graphs make it really simple if you can take the time to graph them? Yeah. Let's look at example two at the top of the page. The cost of renting video games from Games Inc. is shown on the table. Do people still rent video games? Yeah. Games Live. Oh, okay. Are these prices reasonable? Yes. No. Determine, <laughs> determine whether the cost is proportional to the number of games rented by graphing on the coordinate plane. They've done this graphing for us, so we're just going to look at this one. If you get one game, it costs how much? If you get two games, it costs how much? $5. Does that look proportional to you guys? Well, no. If this was proportional, what number would we see there? Six. Yeah, the price is going down with more games that you rent, which makes it a better deal, but does that make it proportional? No. But it does start at zero, zero. If I rent zero games, I pay zero dollars. But I need two things to make it proportional, remember? Yeah. It has to start at zero, zero, and the line has to be straight. Okay, let's look down here then. The ordered pairs, this is from this graph up here, and I want you guys to label this X and Y. If you look above my board, I even have a poster of that, even algebra, my ninth grade algebra class still uses that. First column is the input, it's our X, how many games we're renting. The output is how much money that we're paying. If I'm getting X and Y, my ordered pairs are at one comma three, notice them down here in parentheses. 2 comma 5, 3 comma 7, 4 comma 9. And they're they're graphed on here. It's starting here at 1 though. It is making a straight line. Yeah, if we started at zero though, it would actually kind of be crooked because it would go from here and it would make us I wish they'd done that. It's really not proportional, not just because the line isn't, they're not showing where the line would be crooked. It would be down here. But also, did we discover that right away looking at the table? Yeah. Our first one is 3 over 1, which would be 3 over 1. The second one would be 2.5 over 1. So it is not proportional. They're saying because the line doesn't pass through the origin. Well, honestly, they could have graphed that. But if they had, our line would not have been straight. And the ratio isn't constant. We found this when we were looking. 1 over 3 is not equal to 2 over 5. Okay. I think with that, we can try an example together as a partner. I want you guys to do guided practice 1, 2 on your own, uh, with a partner. And answer number 3 with a partner as well. 1, 2, and 3 as, a, as partners. And then I'm going to be watching for you to be moving back to your own desks. And I want you to be doing page 49, which has one, two, and three. And turn the page, and whoops, and you're going to do four and five as well. So go ahead and turn the page to page 50 and write stop here on page 50, because that's as far as we're going today. One, two, and three in guided practice as with a partner, and you can check with me for help.
And then we're doing pages 49 and 50 on our own, but we're not doing all of page 50, just stopping after that number five. Thumbs up if you know what to do next. All right, choose the partner who you're next to. You can use a calculator if you need it, but I will expect them put away before you guys are leaving. When you finish this, where's the bath book gonna go? Back on the bookcase, and then I'd like to see people doing ST math if we have time, and we have about 20 minutes, so you might get there. Okay, yeah. go.